New at five, a Freeport Township man facing charges after police say he led a campaign of harassment and stalking against his ex-wife. Yeah, investigators say 44-year-old Mitchell Pierce threatened to kill her on multiple occasions and even threatened a school shooting where her children attended. Situations like this, the YWCA says, unfortunately happen far too often. It is very prevalent. While conversations about stalking often take place in the movies or on TV, it's a very real problem. About one in six women and one in 17 men will experience being stalked in their lives. For some victims, it's a mere annoyance. For others, it's terrifying. Situations like what one Fruitport Township woman went through the past year with her ex-husband, 44-year-old Mitchell Pierce. The ongoing vigilance to survive is something that can be physically draining, emotionally draining. Pierce was given a no contact order against his wife after a July 2021 assault conviction. But according to court documents, he later texted her a photo of a gun saying, I went and got these because I'm ready to start blowing people away. While an email on April 22nd, 2022 allegedly read in part, you have betrayed me way more than I betrayed you. I was going to let you and the boys live if you called me and actually talk. Instead, you wanted to play with me. Oftentimes, um, victims are in survival mode and they stay quiet about the assault um, for fear of aggravating or exacerbating the um, behaviors of the assailant. But Pierce's ex-wife was alerting police as this was happening, as he allegedly proceeded to threaten to, quote, commit a school shooting at the school her kids attended. In that terrorized state, it is hard to problem solve. It is hard to think things through. On May 2nd, she called police in Muskegon Township saying she was on Apple Avenue when she noticed Pierce driving behind her. She pulled into a lot and said that as Pierce got out of his Jeep and started coming towards her, she struck him with her car. Police would respond to the scene and find him hiding in the bathroom of a fast food restaurant. The laws about stalking are pretty clear in Michigan, but how those are interpreted, how they're used in any given law enforcement jurisdiction or with a judge, all is very variable. Pierce is now behind bars and awaiting trial, but not every victim has the cooperation of law enforcement. The specialized team at the YWCA in Grand Rapids is here to assist in all scenarios of intimate partner violence or stalking. When that victim can talk to other people and inform other people. Um, they are much more empowered to actually get the kind of results that they want. Now the YWCA has a 24 hour confidential helpline that anybody in any of these situations can call at any time at no cost to them. We'll put that number up there. You can see it on the bottom of your screen now.